to our quick tutorial on how to use the inventor board. The inventor board is a Arduino compatible microcontroller that Robolink has developed and I'm going to go over how to set it up. First off, in order to program this microcontroller what you're going to have to do is you will have to switch up this dip switch. The dip switch is located right over here in this little box. Um, if you flip it up you're going to notice that this light over here will turn blue and it's going to flash on and off. That means it's in a programmable ready mode and you can actually start downloading programs to it. When you want to run your program, what you're going to do is you're going to flip that switch down and then you're going to notice that the program uh, that you wrote in your Arduino sketch will run through. Next, after you have done that, what you're going to do is you're also going to switch it back up if you want to program it, but you also have to remember to press this reset button. If you don't press the reset button, your program will not run and this blue light over here will not flash. Next, we have a number of uh, pins already on the board. These pins allow you to add external components. These components can be attached as long as you have a three pin connection that has a ground, voltage, and signal wire. So black for ground, V for voltage, which is the red wire, and yellow for the S signal wire. So we have two sets of pins here. We have a digital pin, and then we have an analog pin. Digital pins are usually for things like servos, so generally things that move. Analog pins are for sensors, so buttons, IR sensors, um, anything like that. <clears throat> Next, we also do have a buzzer. This buzzer can generate sounds, and you'll look over that in a tutorial later on. We also do have pins and pin assignments. So when you're trying to call out a pin, say that this pin right over here, this top row, it has a specific number associated to it. That number can be found right over here in this blue box. So if you use this, blue number over here when you're calling pin assignments in the Arduino sketch. This should allow you to actually run the code. So what you'll see is every component that we have on the board has a specific number associated to it. So whenever you're trying to call a specific component, you want to make sure that you're using these blue boxed numbers. Okay? Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Uh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.